back to Kerbal Space Program. My name is Seth. In our last episode, we tried to orbit the Mun and we found out that our communications were lacking, for want of a better term. Got about halfway there and lost comms. So we've got basically the same rocket this time. Sorry, we've got the same rocket this time. But instead of using the Communitron, Communitron 16, we're using the HG5, which will allow us to get out to where does it say how far it will go? Silly. Nominal distance 25 gigameters, and the further we go out, the slower it goes. Now, judging by, they don't. I don't think the antennas stack. I thought they did at some stage stack, but I'm guessing that's something one of the mods I've got in or an update has prevented them from stacking. So, because I had two communish on 16s which are rated to 5 and the 116 which is rated to 5 as well so that should have given me 15 which should get the MUN because the MUN's at 11 but it didn't so I'm going for the high gain antenna which will give me 25 now interestingly Minmus is 45 now I was thinking on the last one where I did have enough fuel that we could possibly get it around the MUN and then go out to Minmus maybe but that didn't work because of the comms. With larger comms on this one, it still won't work because we don't have we don't have antennas large enough. So because of that, then I just purely need to get around the MUN. I've dropped off the extra tanks on the second stage um, and left it all pretty much as is. And you can see that I've just tweaked, scaled a couple of girders on there trimmed them down to make that sort of fit in there um it's not like the design of this craft it's it's kind of nice what i am going to remember to do this time though is save it uh and i'm going to actually try and get magnetometer science from the launch pad before i go because I keep forgetting to do that. So it is year 118. We jot that down. Uh, launch pad. Hercules no 5. Launch. Now I did look up the reliability stats and some of the things you can repair from Kerbin. So hopefully, but I don't think that antenna I'm going to be able to repair because there's no alternatives on the craft. Okay. So radiation scan, pressure scan, temperature scan, do nothing. Open up the science bay. It's uh, log magnetometer data. And because that can actually sit there, transmit that while we're waiting for. Yep, yep, yep. That's not what I want. I want to toggle that one. Close this. Because that will sit there and grab the data while I'm waiting for the mum to come into line, which I just not where am I? There I am. It's hard, a bit hard to see with the clouds. What is this? London? All planets covered in clouds. Okay. And should need a little bit less throttle than last time because I'm gonna trim that engine noise down for you guys. A little bit less throttle than last time because we are carrying less weight 
we're carrying less fuel because we don't need as much shelter V because there is no possibility of us getting anywhere near Minmus at this stage. We've got the rocket technology to do it, we don't have the radio technology to do it. And connected, yep, beautiful. Oh, 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 well, not paying attention, I'm going too fast again. I can't get that off. I don't know. Computers, they're hard. Actually, I wanted to find out, we might do this in a minute, whether or not the, uh, whether or not stage recovery actually works. Um, because they, they dropped down before. Hercules 4 debris destroyed from KSC. Uh, stacked a couple of fuel tanks, basic fins swivel. Okay, so that was the second stage that was destroyed. Okay, that's pretty good. I got some money back. Um, money doesn't really mean anything. Um, but hey, why not? So they were the solid rocket boosters from the last launch. Okay, as the atmospheric efficiency goes down, means that we're um, on our way out of the atmosphere. Uh, yeah, so I recovered again. Recovered stage recovery. Um, so you can see the atmospheric efficiency slightly go up a little bit every now and then, um, depending on my speed. Now I'm out of there, so we'll cut the throttle. Jettison, ignite the engine, throttle up. Some nice little short stage, 2200 Delta V. Yeah, this should be fine. It's another 400 to get to orbit. 800, 1200 plus 400. Yeah, yeah, we should, we should, I reckon we'll have a couple hundred Delta V. We may not be in a low orbit scenario, but we'll, we'll be in an orbit nonetheless. Uh, so what is change the camera views? No, how is it? Plus, there's the camera. Okay, so that's the that's the camera from from within the the vehicle. Oh, hey, probably best off be paying attention to what we're doing. Set as target. Ah, because few. Look at that. Slow down a little bit. Am I? So we'll try and get in fairly close. Or well, that might be a little bit close, but whatever. Uh, if I get rid of those fairings, they're coming with us now. Um. I want to activate that before we get too far out. So that's the actual camera. Interesting. Cool. I don't think it actually gives us any sort of I don't think there's any science associated with it, it's just, just is what it is. So let's open up these panels. So I'm actually just going to, ooh, only 400 Delta V. 400 Delta V remaining, yeah, we'll, we'll um, do something with that, so we'll get yeah, we'll, s we'll stop faffing about with that. Otherwise, we'll, oh, yeah, we'll faff about with it a little bit more. Just 
just want to get about 15. That should be fine. So then let's uh, turn that thrust limit all the way back up again. Let's turn this way so that the solar panels are going to be fully exposed as much as possible. Yeah, probably should have ditched the fairings. Um, They're coming with now. Just don't like the way. Yeah, see, that's interesting. That's um, not sure what is doing that. That's like like the physics is slightly out, um, but that's still okay. We can barely work with that. As long as it doesn't go too far out, I think, I think it's a time warp thing, but it's going to be problematic. Definitely problematic. It just it's it throws me right out. You know that's that's ruined. That's wasted. A ton of delta v now. Trying to. And even the times out because the warp to SOI ended. But hey, look at me! I'm at the Mun. So let's send back all the data that we can. Yep, so you need less than 12 meters per second for stage recovery to work. Attempted a propulsive landing but could not find a point of control at a pilot or probe call with SAS for propulsive landings. Interesting. Okay. So... All of my science should be data. A bit of data there to go back. Uh, retrograde. Because for this burn, 7 second burn, well, I've only got 10 seconds worth of fuel left. I don't have time to miss this. I'm going to throttle limit this to 50%. See if I screw it up, I'll screw it up slower than what I'd expect. nervous because I took those extra tanks off um, thinking that I'd be fine get rid of that now really throttle this down I'll drop it down to 15 uh, you know what 18 will be fine I think I think 18 is low space now I have to circularize than 180. I think we can do this. We got this. Look at this. Look, look at this. That's wonderful. That really is. Burn it. Periapsis. Yep. 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 That'll do it. So we had 50 meters per second delta V left. That's pretty good. Um. Quite happy with that. So, got one hour to go for our node. Well, you think I'd know how to point this thing around by now, wouldn't you?
Mun. That is the Mun. Okay. Alright, so let's point to the maneuver. Let's time warp a little bit. Data received, excellent. There's Minmus out there. I'm coming for you, Minmus. Data received, great. So I'm getting all that data back. Oops, how's that? It's going to screw me over. That's going to screw me over, isn't it? Uh, five second burn. That's going to screw me over, isn't it? Uh, it was not going to screw me over as much as, um, as, as much as losing comms because the planet got in the way. Well, shit. Um, that sucks. Um, yeah. And it probably won't come back until I'm past my burn. So, can we plot another burn? Where's that? Let's work. Move that. Uh, that's a hundred. That's all my delta V right there, just in getting it to there. Um. Well. Well, well, well. Um. I truly don't know what to do. I guess. Uh, I guess that. That. Nope, 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 nope. So. That. Keep nudging this along. And I'll get. Get the low science, right? Why not? What is the... It's 25... If, uh, I'm, in, in, I'm in low space now, so it's, it's, it's 20. I shouldn't be paying attention. It's So that's good. So with 20, it's just a matter of whether or not comms comes back before or after. Worst space program ever. As soon as I get in comms range, if I'm still in low space, get the science experiments and get a dodge. Come on, you have to... It's the sun, and I know Kerbin is not far behind it, because... Transmit, transmit, transmit. And get the magnetometer. Transmit. Okay, so. Got power. Got magnetometer. Okay, I've got the data. So that's the main thing. So, where is it? So then, I guess. It's my altitude. 32. In space low. Okay, great. So. So if I can keep it under 30, then I can do another burn. Just... Gotta keep it under 30. 7, 37, no, that's not what I said. 31, 48, that's not what I said either. 13, okay, so we can work with that. 13, 18, 18, 53, that'll do. Let's, let's burn that. So give us some power. Alternators. Uh, 
That'll do. So 13. Okay, so 1347. Well, it's, it's an orbit. It'll... It'll do. Um, it's not a good orbit, but it's an orbit, um, and I got all the science, so it was successful. Barely. We just need to wait for all the science to come back, uh, which could be a while. Quickly, my internet. 31 kilobits per second. Relay, yes, no, well, six one half a dozen of the other. Do I have to actually dedicate one to be a relay door? Batteries. So interesting. Well, I think we're going to have to put a comm network out around Inmus and possibly around Kerbin too to get rid of the eclipses um, and on the other side of the Mun. Because when. Oh, we don't need around Kerbin. Uh, not if, yeah, we don't need a rank Kerbin if the, if the ones around Minmus relay, then we shouldn't have a problem, because at top of three, four, there'll always be one facing Kerbin that can relay for us, so that's probably going to be the way to go, because Kerbin has ground stations, I shouldn't need to worry too much about that. Um... I think that's going to have to be the mission. Uh, the next mission will be to get comms around the Mun. Um, because this is not sustainable. Can't rely on just dumb luck being able to launch. And get you know, get in, in, get out of the back of the planet just in time to send data back. It's not really sustainable. So, yeah, I think we'll look at making some satellites to launch around the Mun. Well, I might design those in the next episode. Uh, we've had a win. We've had a success. We were able to orbit the Mun. And I'm just going to sit here and write out the data transfers. Um, and I will leave you here.